Today, I'd like to overview a new added function for adding layer support when attaching or importing DXF files. Uh, so to start, I'll just go into import and I'll just select uh, the file type as DXF and I'll browse to uh, my file. I'll just use the search And for this demonstration, I will attach the file as an XREF, just because I do intend uh, to have this displayed as a background layer. Uh, if you are wanting to um, have your points and lines included on import, uh, use the import so that it does uh, store uh, the points and lines into your database there. Uh, but for this, I'll just attach as XREF. I'll just say OK to the attached successful. Mm -hmm and I'll enter into survey mode and you'll see uh, the DXF file there and it does have color support if I expand the data panels out and you'll see I'm already shortlisted into uh, the XREF uh, panel and it is already selected on the DXF uh, file type if you hit this drop down uh, and if you have other uh, files XREF uh, you can utilize this drop down um, to select the different file types that you're working with. Uh, but for the, the DXF layers, if we just hit on this plus uh, toggle, this will expand the layer tree uh, down, and you'll see the visibility uh, toggles. Uh, so if you just tap on one of the visibility buttons next to a layer, uh, this is how you enable and disable uh, specific layers as needed. And on top, uh, next to that three dot menu button, uh, if you just select on that, uh, there are multiple options available. Uh, so if you want to detach the file, uh, you are able to. Uh, you can also quickly hide all layers or show all layers and also zoom uh, to the specific DXF file uh, if you're having some issues uh, finding it. Uh, so that's just a quick uh, overview of the new DXF layer support.